Hi, in this video we're going to look at something called uh, arrays in VB6 and why they are useful and we'll um, have a look at our encoder application so if I just run this one the idea is that we put in four numbers we click on encode and it should bring out um, a different set of four numbers because the, the programming code will um, do something to each of the digits we'll have a look at that in a moment but if we click on encode we see we get four different digits out so our one two three four becomes encoded as four six six four and the code takes the value that's put into the text box puts it into a variable and then uses the mid function which we looked at in a previous video to strip out each individual digit and then in this example uh, it puts each individual digit into its own variable which are all declared up here. It then uh, performs some multiplication on each variable so we can see that the first one is times by four, the second one is times by three and so on and then outputs that all in a message box and we get our encoded value. Now <clears throat> we can use something called arrays instead of declaring four different variables so let's look at an example that uses arrays and here's my example that uses arrays instead of declaring four different variables we declare one variable and you'll notice the difference is that when we declare this variable we put in brackets the number of um, times we want to use that variable basically uh, but minus one. We want to use it four times but we'll put three because you'll see when we start to use it here it starts off with a base of zero like lots of things in computing do. So we've got four separate variables but actually um, the only, it only goes up to number three because we start at zero. So that's why it's got a three in there and that's good because we've only got to declare one variable up here our array but we can store four different values in it uh, so the rest of the code works the um, the same after that where arrays really come in to their own and are really useful is where you might start to use um, something called loops which we'll look at in more detail in a future video but I've commented out the code used in the example that we've just looked at, the second example, and I've replaced it with a loop. So we can see it's a lot less amount of coding for the same result. And if you could imagine that if our array wasn't three, if it was 30 or 300 or 3000 or 30,000 different values that we wanted to store, then it would still just be the same amount of code down here and would avoid this sort of wallpaper code because our loop is a really efficient way of programming and just allows you to work with arrays in a really efficient manner um, and avoids repetitive code like we've got up here. So we'll look at loops more in a future video but that's how you declare an array, that's how you declare an array variable and there can be any data type and this is how you refer to it in your code. So that's the first element of the array, that's the second element of the array, and so on and so forth.